Hey guys, welcome to Tech Connect. I'm Rivers and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your SSD or solid state drive in your new laptop or ultrabook. I'm going to show you how to migrate your existing operating system and data to your new drive so the only thing you'll notice is that you have more storage and probably a faster computer too. The laptop I'm using is the LG Gram 14 which I think is the most compact 14 inch laptop you can buy right now. I love this laptop, it's got a super thin bezel 14 inch screen, i7 processor, and it's even thinner than the MacBook Air as you can see in this comparison. It's got a pretty good price too if you can find one. The only problem is that my Gram 14 only had a 256 gigabyte SSD. I'm going to be doing video editing and a lot of graphics work, so I don't want to run out of space and I don't want to work off of a slower external hard drive. The SSD that I went with is the SanDisk X400 1TB M.2 SSD. The only drawback to this drive is that it doesn't really come with good data migration software, but I'll show you how to get good software for around $20, so you'll still end up saving a bunch of money over bigger name brands. I went with the SanDisk because it's less expensive, but you still get the same good performance as the bigger name brands. I'll add Amazon links in the video description for this drive and some other drives that should work well for you. Now the price on these drives fluctuates quite a bit, so what I do is I add it to my cart, then watch it for a week or two until the price drops. Sometimes the price drops, sometimes it doesn't. But a lot of times it will drop big for a day or even less, occasionally around holidays. So when it drops, you've got to be ready to buy it right away. Let's get started with the upgrade. So here's everything you'll need to upgrade your SSD and mirror your old drive to your new bigger drive. The first thing we have here is the M.2 SSD to USB 3.0 adapter slash enclosure. This is just used to clone your drive. If you have a fresh version of Windows you'd like to install, you'll just need a thumb drive or CD instead. Next I have a small Phillips screwdriver which is necessary for the LG Gram to remove the back plate. Just pull off the rubber feet and the screws are underneath. A lot of laptops use Torx drivers like this one. This one is a ratchet and double drive which turns twice as fast by holding the blue band and then twisting in both directions. It comes with a bunch of bits as you can see here including multiple sizes of the Torx head bit. For many laptops and especially the LG Gram, you want a plastic pry off tool like this one. This is not a guitar pick, it's much stronger and thicker in the middle. You need plastic so it won't scratch the metal though. This one comes from an iPhone screen repair kit. It's very inexpensive and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now, before you order your drive, you'll want to open up your laptop and see what type of drive you have. This one has a newer M.2 SSD. If you have an older laptop, you might have a mechanical hard drive, which you can replace with a serial ATA drive like this one. So here's what the LG Gram's motherboard looks like. Right here is the M.2 SSD, and it's just a little teeny guy. This is the eight centimeter version. Right here is your battery, your CPU fan, your Wi-Fi chip, and your processor, and here's your DRAM module. If you wanted to upgrade it while you were in here, it would be very easy to do. I'll add a link to a 16 gig module that should work. One quick note, I used a SanDisk SSD here because I thought the price for performance was the best, but there are other manufacturers whose drives would also work in this laptop just fine. There's Samsung, of course, but there's also very good manufacturers such as Intel, Crucial, and others like Transcend. I'll have links to some of the drives I recommend in the video description. Personally, I like Samsung the best for consumer upgrades because they use vertical NAND, which I think is the most durable. Also, you can download their migration software and their utilities that prolong the life of the drive for free. But their drives cost more, so there is that price for performance ratio that I was talking about. Now, let's put the laptop's cover back on because we're gonna start it up and clone your laptop's hard drive over to your new bigger drive. To insert your new M.2 SSD, start at about a 30 degree angle Push it forward until you feel a slight click, and then press it down and attach the screw at the back to lock it in place. Now put it into the external enclosure, screw everything down in place, insert your USB 3.0 cable, connect your USB 3.0 cable to your laptop, and we're ready for the software. Once it's plugged in, you need to make Windows recognize the drive, so you're going to right click on the My Computer icon on the desktop, choose Manage. This will take you to the Windows Computer Management Utility. On the left side, click Disk Management, and you'll see a list of the drives connected to the computer. The one at the bottom should be the USB drive you just plugged in. Be very careful to find the correct drive by matching its specs to your new M.2 SSD. It's possible to delete the wrong drive from here, so be very careful. 
In this picture, my drives are reversed because I already did the upgrade and I plugged in the 256 gig drive to the USB when I took this screenshot. Now you're ready to format. Right click your new drive and choose format. If format is not available, you may need to remove the volume and create a new volume before you can format. Quick formatting should be fine. Once that's done, you're ready to run the disk migration software. SanDisk's website referred me to this EasyGig migration software, which is free for SanDisk drives, but after I run it, it didn't work. Maybe I did something wrong, but I could not run it again on my laptop because it was locked to a one-time use only. So I searched around for alternative migration software, but nothing was free that really worked. In fact, it seemed like everything was really expensive. Finally, I found a program called Paragon Migrate OS to SSD, which everyone seemed to have good things to say about. It was cheap at only $20, and it turned out to be really awesome. Now I'll always have that app for future upgrades. That did add $20 to the price of my drive, but I think it was still a good deal. To run the Paragon software was super simple. All I did is start it up, it found the drives, and then I told it which drive I wanted to copy to which drive. I made sure and checked the box that says use all space on hard drive so your drive shows up as a full terabyte. And I didn't check the box that said create multiple EIF boot entries because I believe that's for dual boot with multiple operating systems. The whole cloning process went very quickly. I think it only took about 15 minutes and it went great using the Paragon software. Once the cloning is done, power everything down and then you just need to swap out your new SSD for your old one. For me, the computer booted right up but if you do run into problems where it doesn't recognize the hard drive, try going into the BIOS and make sure it sees the hard drive, then boot up again, and a lot of times that will get you into Windows. But mine booted straight into Windows without having to go to the BIOS, and as you can see here, I have my new one terabyte drive. For me, I was doing this to get the larger storage space, but as an added bonus, you can see here in Crystal Disk Mark, it actually gets about 40% faster write speeds as well. All right guys, I'm really loving the LG Gram 14, especially now that I got my new hard drive upgrade. I wanna wrap up this video by saying you should think about buying a laptop with a smaller SSD, then cloning it over to a larger one like we did in this video. You're saving money and you're getting a lot more storage, plus a longer drive life and possibly a nice performance bump too. I'm Rivers with Tech Connect. Thanks for watching and as always, aloha.